What's up gurus? So we're gonna finally set this guy up. I'm kinda of gonna run this from pretty quick versus the other one, but we got another nine gallon Fluval Flex. We got some live plants in here. We got our, our remote. We got some Fluval Stratum. We're gonna go wash some stuff I got from Home Depot as well um, for the scape and stuff like that too, so. But yeah, we got some, uh, we got some hair grass. We got three, three little tissue cultures of that. And then we got some needle leaf Java ferns we're gonna kinda of put in the back. Um, but yeah, let's head outside and let's go wash some of the, the stuff I got for the hardscape. Alright, so here we are outside. We got some buckets to wash this stuff with. But we went to Home Depot. You can get all this stuff at Home Depot. Um, we got some river pebbles. These ones are about one inch or so in size. Really, really dirty though. You got to clean them really well. Uh, we got some play sand. Some people say not to use this. Well, the way I'm going to use it is going to be a pretty thin layer. Um, so... You'll kind of see what I'm doing with that. This is overkill. I don't need all this clearly. Um, we got some pea pebbles to kind of mix it in. And we also got some larger river rocks we're going to use for our main hardscape along with a uh, manzanita branch. I'm going to kind of throw into here, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to get started washing this stuff. Like I said, all this stuff's available at Home Depot. This was the most expensive one. I think it was like 10 bucks. <laughs> These are like $3, $2, $3, something like that. So, but yeah. Let's uh, get them washed up. All right, so I'm gonna start with the bigger rock. can kind of see these they're like super quartzy It'd be super cool for this state. we'll kind of go through them and pick out some of the ones we like better than others as well so Anyways, I got a uh, bucket rinse to put them all in after the rinse. All right, I'm gonna finish these up and then we'll go on to the next one. All right, so these next ones are gonna be the bigger river pebbles. These ones are super, super dirty. Alright, so as you can see, these things are super, super dirty, but they should rinse off real nice, just with a quick, quick rinse. So yeah, I'll rinse these off, throw you guys on a time lapse. we got the pea pebbles these are a little harder um, at least for me <laughs> so what I do the other bucket has holes drilled in the bottom to make it easy to you know just wash the dirt out it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way with this stuff so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up about half full Rinse it out real well, dump it into another bucket, and vice versa.
All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for that. As you can see, we got like half a bucket full. The rest of it, I'm just gonna throw in another bucket. I'm probably not even gonna use all that, so. Next up, we gotta wash some sand. Um, same same plot as this. Um, you just kind of rinse a bunch, put it in another bucket. Rinse a bunch, put it in another bucket. Till you're done. So, I'll skip the yada yadas with that one. Um, and then I'll meet you guys inside once we're all wrapped up here. All right, so I kind of started without you guys. Um, so what I did first, I took a light, dif light diffuser. As you can see on the bottom, just to prevent the rocks from causing any damage to the glass or anything like that. Um, so basically I made a pile here in the back and what we're going to do is I'll kind of show you as we go along. I'm going to add more rocks as I'm going along here, but this is the generic hardscape layout we're going with. And then from here on, it's going to change a lot more drastically. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up and then, uh, we'll get started. All right. So next up, we got to add some fluval stratum for our pear grass to grow up front. Grab my little shovel here. All right, next thing I'm gonna do here is I wanna push back the front just slightly and kind of give it some slope towards the back. And I really just want enough in the front where I can just put a little sand layer. Just so that way this front appearance of the tank looks a little bit better. <clears throat> Alright, so we got some clay sand as I said. level out a little bit once I add some water. Now, a lot of people will say not to use play sand. They are not wrong, but make sure you use a, if you do end up using it regardless, use a thin layer and you'll be just fine. It's because it packs down makes a anaerobic pockets which causes it to cause problems in the water and stuff like that so but if you know what you're doing you do a thin layer of it you'll be just fine keep it stirred up you know things like that takes a little bit more maintenance but you get a really really natural look with it okay so next we just kind of want to level out our substrate here. And we are going to cover most of this with sand as well. So you won't really see it. Alright. So as you can see, we got a nice little bank going on up towards the back, a little thin sand layer up front. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the rest of that. Grab some water, get that kind of leveled out. All right, so what I do is I put a bag in here. Um, what that does is it causes less, um, you know, turbulence, I guess you could say, when adding water to a freshly set up substrate such as this. 
what I'm going to do is just use a pitcher of water. And just slowly fill that guy up. And the sand should start to settle. And then we can kind of mess with the, how it's set up after that. Kind of wash our rocks, our pebbles down in the back here. So we got so far. Looking good. All right, so we'll of course add more sand to this as well. I just want to get at least one gallon of water into here. Now this is also a nine gallon tank, so you can see how much this is going to change the way it looks. <clears throat> All right, so I'm kind of level this out a little bit here. All right, so we got to add more sand in there. So let's start with that. So now you can get the, the gene, generic idea of kind of where we're going with this here. Kind of move some of these around. I'm going to go a little bit higher on this as well. So when you're adding rocks here, you're just going to kind of throw them all over the place. Let them fall naturally. Just putting them in place doesn't really look that great, trust me. Yeah, that's about where I want to go. Alright, so for height, we're going right about there. If you can see a good visual of that a little look better when it's full and circulating and stuff like that as well so um, next step here is I'm gonna add some pebbles towards the front just to kind of give it that look all right so I got pea gravel then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of drop that towards the front of all these rocks Kind of scatter some throughout even though it's going to be covered in hair grass it'll kind of give it a more natural look to it anyway there we go all right now next step it's gonna be getting all this stuff out of my way and then we'll start throwing some plants in here. I forgot one of the most important parts. We gotta put the stick in there too. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna cut it up to fit a nano. Kind of use this one in the back corner. There we go. I'll kind of shove this piece in the back. Like so. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of have these sticks coming out of here. Let's see. I suppose you guys can't really see that. I can. <laughs> But yeah, you'll get the idea. 
I'll show you in a little bit here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the tissue cultures out of here. Basically, you just want to pull them out and wash this gelatin off. And then kind of split them up, and I'll show you where we go with that once we get there. So, All right, so we got our plants. We got some narrow leaf java fern here and some dwarf hair grass. Dwarf hair grass is going to cover, you know, this most of this front sandy area. And then all the uh, java fern will be in the back. Um, I will set you guys up for a time lapse on that. So as you can see, we got the hair grass done. Might be easier down here. You can see I just kind of spread it out as much as I could with what I had. And uh, one tip, one big tip to that is to the bigger clumps, the bigger the clumps that you use. Oh, that light really throws that off. But the, if you use the big clumps, um, you definitely get a lot better growth, I've noticed. So now let's do the Java fern. Alright, so now I'm going to go grab some fresh water out the tap, fill that up the rest of the way, go grab some cycled media, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so we got our new beta. It is a red platinum dragon. Um, looks like it has a spade tail too. I'll catch him when he really flares up, but I'm going to have Wifey try and catch him here, um, and we're going to toss him in here. Here. Put this lid back on here so we get a better eating of all of them. I did put a purple ram's horn in here as well. But yeah, he's probably going to stress out a little bit overnight. So most likely what we'll do is we'll just check him out here for a little bit. He is going to struggle in the current a little bit. He's obviously used to being in a cup. Um... But being he does have the short fin and this tank, the current really isn't that strong. He just got to get used to it. But yeah, we'll let him relax overnight. And then uh, I'll get back with you guys tomorrow when the tank clears up and he's all calmed out. And we'll catch some good video of him. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. For Well, for you guys, it'll be like this. All right, here we are, guys. Back tomorrow. Um, we got the tank all set up. Let's go take a peek. So there she is, all nice and clean. We'll get some close-ups here for you. Got it, guys. New tank all set up. This guy's name is Pennywise. He is a red platinum dragon spade tail. Um, let me know what you guys think about the scape. Let me know what you think about the beta down in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe. 
give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for helping everybody, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it fishy.